Affected family member Apollonia Kangjimi says strong winds accompanied by light showers caught them by surprise, just as they were to have their dinner on Tuesday night. Narrating their ordeal, an emotional Kangjimi says roofs and poles suddenly started falling on them, leaving the children running in different directions. We did not even start eating when things started falling on us. We moved to the other corner of the house to wait for the wind to stop. Others ran away across the road in fear, and when it stopped, at last, we looked for the others, and then we all slept in the other hut, which was still standing. No one sustained serious injury except for minor cuts, including the children. They say their foodstuffs, children's books, birth certificates, bedding and clothing are among the many items destroyed. Kang Jimmy says it will be difficult to reconstruct their homestead as the family does not have anyone in their employ. The Village Development Committee member Hilma Ashipala says it is liaising with the constituency office to see what urgent assistance it can provide, especially with rains still hovering over the sky. <laughs> The family is already struggling to make ends meet. They survive on doing odd jobs in the community. It will be very difficult for them to rebuild their houses, especially that there is no men in the family, only women. In the meantime, she is appealing to Good Samaritans to come to the family's rescue, especially with corrugated iron sheets, bedding and food.